Hello, welcome to my video. My name is Claire and this is a video about growing in grey hair. So nothing particularly life-changing or earth shattering <laughs> about this topic. Um, I must have seen every single grey hair YouTube video out there. This one is mine. And they all seem to start with um, the same thing and that is the person going through um, their hair dyeing history if they have been dyeing their hair which I have so I first noticed greys coming into my hair um, when I was 17 and um, so that was 21 years ago and that's when I started to dye my hair actually god I might have been 15 anyway it was, it was you know relatively young for having grey hair come in and so I have spent two decades dyeing my hair my hair has been every colour under the sun and when it first started to go grey it was just the odd bit here now it was noticeable but it was it was just here at the, at the crown of my head and then obviously as I um, became older the hair the more grey hair started to come and up until about three or four years ago I would get away with doing my hair every month once a month but now it's like every 10 days I see the greys really properly showing at 10 days and at two weeks it's like yeah I definitely need to do my roots so um that's really expensive to keep up that level of hair dyeing and so I couldn't really afford to go to the hairdresser every two weeks so I would go to a hair um supply like a salon supply store and buy a professional hair dye and pop it in like using the developer and all of that but that's permanent so it's going to be difficult to lift it out and um, that's if I was going down the bleaching route which I don't particularly want to do so about six weeks ago I decided just to stop dyeing my hair now actually six or seven weeks ago so I stopped dyeing the sides in here but between that um six weeks ago and now I had an audition I'm an actress so I dyed the my center parting in here because I was auditioning for a period film and I wanted to have a center parting and all the rest of it anyway that's kind of I wouldn't say it's irrelevant because I'm gonna ask a question in a minute but that's why so this center parting isn't as gray as the sides so I'm just going to show you where I am at the moment because this is always my favorite part of people's videos when they show me how much grey hair they had so I asked a hairdresser actually about four years ago um oh will I just go grey now and um the hairdresser suggested to wait until I had a higher percentage of grey in my hair so that the transition would be brighter I suppose so here we go okay so here's my sides at the sides here this is six to seven weeks without dying so here we go and yeah look at that for a demarcation line so yeah i think i i think i have a higher enough percentage now to just go gray so it's not entirely entirely white i reckon i'm at about a 95 percent so it's going to grow in salt and pepper um which i don't mind at all i'm quite looking forward to it uh, i could see a little bit more of it there um what's really surprising is just how metallic looking it is um so yeah there we go there it is and you also get an idea of the length of my hair currently um i'll show you this side because i think one side is whiter than the other i could be just imagining that but anyway i don't mind if things grow in asymmetrically i don't particularly have a symmetrical kind of <laughs> face so okay hang on can you see i'm just looking at the little viewer there see there we go yeah so loads of whites and greys there to keep me going and then my center parting you can see it's about a month maybe a month of growth there right so just if you're a hairdresser and you're watching this i know right i, I, I know right so my plan for transitioning to full-on mega gray hair is to do nothing nothing at all except wash it and i'm not even going to um air i'm not going to dry it with hair dryer just let it air dry for the next three months do nothing 
nothing at all. And then after the three months, go to the hairdresser and have the ends of it just chop goodbye, goodbye to you and blend as much as I can into whatever is left, I think. I am an actress and I don't know any other actress my age who has let their grey hair come in. And if I do know them, perhaps they're disguising it with this beautiful jobby that I found. Look at this guy. Oh, is he a bit dark? So this is a L'Oreal Touch Up Coloury Hairspray that you can just go and it covers in your uh, roots. So I, if I'm on a film shoot, I usually bring a bottle of this because my roots can grow that quickly um, and hair and makeup then can use it. But I've only ever used it on like for like, God, I don't even think I've ever used it on anything, even just the month's growth. Never mind kind of l longer bits like this level of growth here. I don't think I've ever used it on that. So it's going to need a little bit of experimenting. So I think for maybe the first couple of jobs I get, hopefully, <laughs> um, while I'm doing this transition, I'll just use this um, to cover it up and blend it in. But after that, I wouldn't, I am, um, I'm like, I'm really looking forward to having entirely dye free hair. So, um, I'm just going to sign off. <laughs> I think I forgot. I think I was just, I just went off in a big ramble, which I'm, I have probably edited out. So I will sign off and I'm going to come back and make another video in a couple of weeks. No, a couple of weeks, that's too soon. A couple of months time and we'll have another root check and see how we're going um, to see if I have, if I'm patient enough to do it, which I hope I am, because I have a dream of myself having long flowing gray hair, like a top of dragon or something. No, I won't be a top of dragon. Um, I'll be in the TARDIS. See you soon. <laughs>